is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is just a video of me basically kind of uh responding to the comments that youtuber uh dave mccray gave he is a well-established person in the community for all things michael myers and several other horror things that he talks about on his channel he's also a well-known voice actor as he likes to talk about on his channel from time to time um basically in one of his videos dave mccray said something that i firmly agree with and that's the fact that we as the audience do not need to see how michael myers survived or how he escaped the fire from the end of the 2018 film that's not necessarily relevant to the narrative going forward more so that it's not necessary it's more so that it's not necessary as much as it is not relevant the reason why it's not necessary is i'll give a firm example of this from halloween 4 we saw how the end of halloween 4 michael myers is shot he's uh basically shot down into some sort of mine or something of that sort they throw like a firecracker or something down there to blow him up and in the story he of course survived as we found out in halloween 5 the issue though is halloween 5 humanizes him too much because we see this character who's supposed to be the quote-unquote boogeyman we see how he escaped in detail vivid detail we see him see him crawling out of the mine shortly before it blew up we then see him flowing down a river or something and then landing on the porch of a hermit or something of that effect some old man with a bird uh something that just was not necessary to see on screen there's obviously a factor of when you do that you're kind of putting that now the audience is no longer at the same speed with the characters since we saw how michael myers escaped in halloween 5 that's fine for us but now we're at an advantage where the characters on screen they do not know how he survived he's just he's just seemingly back and they don't know how but we do i feel like that's that's very cheap if you want like a more effective narrative overall having the audience in the same position with your characters that's always more effective because you're just right there along for the ride now just as much with these characters you don't know as much as they know they don't know more than you know uh they don't know less than what you know stuff like that uh of course there's instances where it works when you know more than the characters but for something like michael myers and the way this narrative has been constructed and how this is supposed to be directly building from the original film from 1978 it's kind of irrelevant for us to get to see how he survived the end of the last movie and i need to stop saying irrelevant because what i mean is it's not necessary us seeing how he survived at the end of the 2018 film isn't necessary because at the end of the day they already established that they're going back to the original intent the original intent of the character was for him to not literally be supernatural but for him to have that edge and then for you to kind of always be like well is he or isn't he but then of course he's not literally supernatural in the first film he's not teleporting around we see him with a car we see him on foot with two legs he's not just teleporting uh and the stuff he endured at the end of the first movie, I've said this a thousand times, just because you see, you feel that you wouldn't live or that someone else wouldn't live doesn't mean that it's impossible for someone to endure all of that and then survive. Just because it's not likely doesn't mean it can't happen. It's just highly unlikely that what he endured at the, first, at the end of the first film would be something that some ordinary person in today's society probably wouldn't see them survive that yes that doesn't mean that what he endured was something that should have just flat out killed him point blank period no he wasn't he he didn't have his head decapitated or anything of that sort he was shot six times we don't know where those six bullets went clearly if he survived they didn't go anywhere significant he got stabbed in the chest yes i understand that stabbed in the neck again we're just assuming that vital organs were hit and suspending your disbelief in the fact that he's still alive clearly vital organs were not touched uh, but to get back to the point of the video 
in the end of the 2018 film, we see him in the uh, cellar. It's on fire. Lori sets a fire. It seems like there's no way out. That's from our perspective. Now, obviously, if he got out, that means he found a way out. We do not need to see that. Maybe something can happen along the way to please those who think it's necessary to know. Maybe Lord will make mention of or remember the fact that she probably has something down there just in case she became trapped in there with him and she had a way out. And that's probably what he found. And that's how he got out that or Lori can just speculate for us, the audience. And we can take that as maybe that is how he got out. There's no need for us to definitively see how he got out, because just from the simple fact of the matter that we know he is not full blown supernatural. It's safe to assume that obviously he did not teleport out. He got out of there by some by some means he escaped. He did not simply magically get out because he is supernatural. That's not what happened. He did not teleport out. Just because we did not see him escape does not mean he teleported. And the fact that they're going back to the original intent of the character, that's enough evidence to show you right there that he, in fact, did not teleport out of that cellar. We see a shot at the end of the movie where it shows him no longer present. That doesn't mean he now teleported out of that cellar. He's still down there and he's probably trying to find a way out. And if he escaped, which is apparently he did because there's Halloween kills and Halloween ends coming, we don't need to see exactly how that happened. Uh, maybe something can happen at the beginning of Halloween kills where we see something broken and just a big hole or something alluding to that's how he got out. But for us to actually see it occur, we don't need to see that. And then even that, even if they don't want to show any details of how he escaped, it's not necessary. It's not relevant. It Because if you're going to do that, by doing that, you're again putting the audience in the same position with the characters. We're just as confused now as they are. Well, how did he get out? This isn't, this isn't possible. There's no way he could have gotten out. How did he do it? He found a way. Just because he found a way does not mean it needs to be illustrated on screen and does not mean that we as the audience need to be filled in on every little detail about Michael Myers because that's what makes Michael Myers Michael Myers. We're not supposed to know everything about this character. Those are my thoughts on the matter. I think Dave McRae is absolutely correct in everything he stated. He's usually always correct in my opinion in most of his videos. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Do you agree, disagree? Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.